Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone? This is OJ with the Royal Hogs. There are four of them, each with 600 health. So, that's like having four musketeers worth of health. Each piglet will deal 59 damage each with a 1.1 second attack speed. This is as swift as stab goblins, making each of their damage per second 53 for a total of 212 damage per second. Individually though, they're one of the weakest units in the game. They're a little different from the Hog Rider in the sense that traditional single targeting units like a Mega Minion is not going to be effective against it. You're going to want to use alternative splash methods to take out the piglets. Rocket is the hard counter of the piglets, but that's 6 for 5. Just like the Hog Rider, they have a very fast move speed, large sight range, and they only target buildings. Some of them might taper off onto the building, and some of them might taper off onto your princess tower if the cannon is 4 tiles from the river and 3 tiles from the princess tower. They cost 5 elixir. Furnace? 4 elixir. The fire spirits deal work to the piglets, especially with a 4-2 placement. You'll be pulling all of them piggies. Tombstone isn't quite enough to stop the piglets, but it can prevent some of the damage. Goblin Hut has more health, so it perfectly stops the piggies just nicely. When you lay down the hoglets behind your king tower, or even at the bridge, they will split two and two towards the towers, making for a very interesting split push if they do not have any buildings to pull in the piglets. So piglets left alone, they will deal 2000 damage to that prince's tower. They're kind of like Skarmy. Individually, they're weak, but together that's a lot of damage per second. However, if you split the piglets, they'll only deal around 590 damage to each tower. Knowing that, piglets aren't actually that intimidating when you split them. So just split your goblin gang to address the piglets to negate most of that damage done on both towers. There's still a very interesting card to pair with split pushing decks. When you slam the three musketeers down and you've baited out your fireball with minion horde or even the elixir collector. Then you can just split the hoglets in the middle and support the 3 for some mad dual pressure. You gotta be careful though, if you didn't bait out their fireball, that's a lot of fireball value on that side with the two musketeers and the piglets. If you're defending against a split push like this and can only counter the musketeer or the piglets, choose the musketeers because two piglets do so little damage. No matter how much the piglets come at you, a Valkyrie is going to dominate them. She's got a really sharp blade and she has so much health for counter push. Fireball is more like a soft counter. They'll still have a bit of health remaining, but your tower will kind of finish them off. Though Fireball is not a reliable counter if they have a tank, your tower is still going to get wrecked by the surviving piglets. You better be sure to have Snowball, Zap, Log, or at least something else to finish them off if they pair it with a tank. Minion Horde dishes out a lot of damage per second, so as long as they don't get arrowed, they'll be able to reasonably stop the piglets without the help of any spells. But this is kind of 5 elixir for 5, and you are hooped if they have spells for your horde. With a tank, it's a whole new ball game. Defensive buildings besides Bomb Tower will not stop the piglets. Here's a very cool interaction. The piglets. When Pump is placed in the center in front of the King Tower, and you plant the piglets in the middle, it is chaos. Two go to the princess tower, one goes to the other princess tower, and the last piglet goes directly to the elixir collector, and it is not targeted by any tower. For true blue, when one princess tower is down, notice how the piglets stagger bottom, top, bottom, top. This means planted on the first tile. Three will go towards the princess tower, and one will go toward the king tower. Now, for true red, Look at the formation now. The piggies are top, bottom, top, bottom. This results in the left piglet suddenly being targeted by the king tower. Let's watch these side by side. So the left piglet is tanking a little bit more from the king tower, allowing the other three piglets to live longer. This quite literally results in true red getting 500 more damage on the right princess tower. Here's where it gets janky. This card revolves around true red and true blue. As true blue, if you plant it on the second tile, all four will go to the princess tower. Whereas if you are true red, only three will go to the princess tower? This is not only inconsistent with this tile, but also with the pig push tiles. 
the rabbit hole goes deeper. When you are true blue and you plant the royal hog on the left side, they assemble in a square formation. Now, whereas if you place them on the right side, they form an L formation. Okay, bear with me. Now, if you're true red, it's the opposite. The right side forms a square formation and the left side forms an L formation. Overall, both formations will all deal the same amount of damage when left ignored, of course. But interactions, they're completely different. In the square formation, splash units have an advantage. Fire spirits will hit all four of them. Compared to the L formation, where the front fire spirits won't hit the rear piglets. Valkyrie, placed in the center, is the ideal placement against the square formation as she'll be able to splash the maximum amount of piglets. Executioner should be placed a little on the side to maximize his splash once they group together onto your tower. Same should be done with the bowling. You'll want to stagger him slightly off to the side so they can continue splashing the piglets. Whereas if you center plant a bowler, wizard, or executioner, it causes the piglets to split, which makes your splash defense weaker against them. Same with the wizard. You want to maximize the splash radius by not splitting the piglets in half. So you'll want to keep the wizard away from the center so you can keep splashing the bacon. Pretty much to sum it all up, all splash units, Wizard, Ice Spirit, Sparky, Ice Wizard, Ghost, Baby Dragon, Witch, Ice Spirit, Sparky, Ice Wizard, Ghost, Baby Dragon, Valkyrie, Witch, Bowler, Princess, Executioner, and the Fire Spirits are going to deal with the square formation better just because they are splashers. So regardless of true red or blue, when hogs are planted right on the bridge, they form a similar square formation. They will be more vulnerable to these splash units. Alright, so let's talk... L formation. Against splashers, they straight up won't clip all of the hogs, compared to the square formation at least, resulting in a little bit more damage to your tower. So for the L formation, swarm units are actually better than splash units at minimizing the damage dealt to your tower since the hogs line up in a single file and block each other. A goblin gang will actually not be as effective at stopping a square formation because they're clumped together. The tornado can pull the piglets into the king tower. If you pull the piglets with the L formation, you can roughly snag two piglets. And the other two, well, they'll deal around 900 damage to your prince's tower, no big deal. Whereas against the square formation, you're going to be able to pull three piglets into your king tower. This will result in your prince's tower only getting 400 damage dealt to it. The mini P.E.K.K.A. almost one-shots a piglet but with massive overkill on the second attack. So, with an L formation, this is more efficient, timed correctly. And on this tile, you can synchronize with the tower and eliminate them one by one, single file. It's actually not as intimidating with a square formation as well. The mini P.E.K.K.A. might stutter a little bit, but the tower is there to help it out. So, it's still a pretty decent counter despite there being four of them. Wait. Wait. If one row hog has 600 health and a hog rider has 1400 health, does that mean that the hog rider himself has at least 800 health? 